Hello, it's Annie and it is 10.30 at night. I've been to the auction. I didn't collect all of my stuff because it was just so cold and I wanted to go home and I wanted to come and see my babies. And um, I have a bit of buyer's remorse. There was things I should have bought. There was things I shouldn't have bought. There was things I paid too much for and there was things that I paid, um, well, I just didn't get. And um, it's a fun night out. Um, I'm really excited and happy that I found my passion. I um, absolutely love this vintage um, expedition that I've been on. It was uh, something that I fell into. Um, unfortunately, it's something that also, get, oh my God, I don't really love having a lot of stuff because I have a shop and um, so I kind of am stuck in the shop. So I'm always carting things from one place to the other um, but this new shop which is Annie's Collective Wonderland is actually giving me a bit more time um, but I just wanted to do a little video um, because look here I'm sitting here I've, I've actually I can't show you I um, went through a tray of jewellery that I bought tonight and um, I'm really happy half of it's crap but some of it's really good um, I really am going to have to look into getting an Etsy store or a eBay store um, I can really feel that the journey from here onwards is a really good one. Um, I, oh, my husband told me a few things. He told me not to say um all the time. And he, he's a man of few words, really. And he's not exactly um, the kind of guy that's going to tell you all the good things first. He, I think he has a theory that if he says too many nice things, I'll get a big head and might be really hard to control, but I've just remembered what he said to me tonight. I have a missing tooth, right? It's there. I don't really care. If I get the wrong angle like that, you can... That does look bad. Anyway, I have a missing tooth because I don't like going to the dentist. And I did a really stupid thing and I didn't go to the dentist when it was when I needed to and then it snapped and then I had to go and get it pulled out. Mm. And I hate the dentist. I have so much anxiety about the dentist. In fact, it cost me um, three and a half grand more than it needed to because I needed them to knock me out. And Jason said, be very careful. He didn't sound like that. Be very careful that you don't show the gap. And I have an opinion of, I want this to be raw, unfiltered. I want it to be real. I want you to know that you can be anything that you want to be. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to edit. You don't have to be beautiful. Like so many times I do the video, I've got like a double chin and I've got my hair, like I've got this frizzy hair going on and I've got all these things wrong with me. Sometimes like I do the video from under here Oh, and then I go, oh crap. And then I think, dude, how many times can I, I can't just do 50 um, outtakes or whatever they are. I just want this to be real. I want you to know that you can do, do everything that I do. It's nothing spectacular. You can be a vintage owner, a vintage shop owner. You could be a vintage business. You could be anything. If anybody wants advice and help, come to me. I'm a community spirited girl and I like to help, help everybody. So anyway, I was saying to Jason, um, after quite a few things about him um, not saying nice things to me, then I'm just going to introduce you to my to my gap. I'm just going to call it Gappy. So if you see it, there is um, there's a cosmetic thing that I can have done where he needs to drill and make it white because uh, it does look it does look bad, but I don't care. It's not bad enough for me to. Um, like talk like this and be really worried about it i don't really care um if you have a problem with it come and meet me face to face and um you can meet gappy it's fine it's all fine everybody you don't need to be perfect to be good and um also this is an extra long i just the aim of this video today was to show you look at my precious cargo <laughs> they know that it's bedtime and I've come back from the auction tonight and I'm tired and I wanted to watch. Um, I sat in here with my son and we watched TV. And then I did some of that. I was looking at for markings on jewellery. And um, these two want to go to bed. <laughs> and it really is my world. I wish, it, I wish they were my children. You know, years ago when you have small children. And, um, yeah, they 
you know, do that. Mum, when are you going to bed? And they want to go to bed with you. Um, the hardest thing is, see, knowing which way to look at. Oh, I've got so much to do. Anyway, I'm going now. Oh, my God, it's been five minutes. I don't know what the point of my story was, except for um, if you see that gap. See, if I do it this side, you can't see anything. But if I start moving it around and start pointing over there, you're going to see it. So there you go. Um, trying to think about what the next thing I'll be showing you that I've got on. I don't think I have any vintage options. But anyway, the next time I go to the other option, I'll... Um, I will take you along and I will also take you to, um, I'll do a tour through Taylor's and keep doing tours, keep showing you things, keep talking to you, keeping the lines of communication open. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the video. I want 100 subscribers because then I can get my own handle, which would be www.youtube slash Annie's Vintage Wonderland. I can't get that until I have 100 subscribers. And I only have 33. So if you like this and you know anybody that would like this too, share the link. You know what? Go for a local, community-spirited, small business owner, just a mum. Someone who's passionate about vintage, sustainability, war on waste, save our planet and all of those things. And also happy to help, happy to share and do all those things. Anyway, better go. Six minutes, six and a half minutes, I'll get into trouble. Bye, Jason. Okay, so bye. Good night. I'm going to bed too. Bye.